And what we have up here is a very powerful pneumatic landslide generator with the red box where the gravel is filled in to mimic the landslide. The red box is accelerated down the ramp at high speeds, the flap opens and the landslide is released to impact the water. The scientists here made a detailed analysis of what happened at Latuya Bay when 90 million tons of rock hit the water. They wanted to see how this impact had released enough energy to create a giant wave able to reach half a kilometer high. We adapted our model to mimic a cross-section of Latuya Bay. Up here we have the landslide generator representing the mountain where the rock fell off. At the other end, we have a ramp representing the headland where the wave ran up to. And what we found when we ran the experiment was fascinating. What we found explains how a wave could reach the extraordinary height of 520 meters. A high-speed landslide impacted the water. The water moved away so fast that it couldn't flow behind the landslide, creating a large air cavity, displacing far more water than the landslide volume itself. And this explains how a wave can have enough energy to run up half a kilometer and clear out everything in its way. The speed and size of the Latuya Bay landslide explains how the wave there could be so big when it was generated. This wave did not travel far. It struck land almost immediately. But mega tsunami are also able to cross whole oceans. As they radiate outwards, their height will drop considerably. Yet because they are a powerful single pulse of energy, they can travel thousands of kilometers and still cause destruction on distant shorelines. The energy that a mega tsunami unleashes when it hits a coastline is far greater than that of any storm wave imaginable. And the reason for this is, is the huge wavelength. Of, that's the distance from the beginning of the wave to the end of the wave. Storm waves, however high they are, have a very short wavelength, usually no more than 100 metres from the front of the wave to the back. This is because they are created merely by the effect of the wind on the surface of the sea. Mega tsunami, on the other hand, move the entire body of the ocean, right down to the seabed, several kilometres below. Because of the enormous volume of water that has shifted, Mega tsunami have very long wavelengths, often hundreds of kilometers from the front of the wave to the back. This makes them particularly devastating when they approach a shoreline. As the ocean shallows, the front of the wave slows down, but the back of the wave is still traveling fast and pushes against the front, making it rise up. This creates the first destructive characteristic of mega tsunami when they hit the shore. They rear up to become a wall of water. The long wavelength also creates a second frightening characteristic. Instead of breaking on the shore, the whole length of the wave sweeps onto land, engulfing everything before it. <laughs> 